sex shop and sex workers of Reddit, what are some of the best examples or clients not knowing how anatomy sex works? Many people who come into my shop are under the impression that if it can go in the vagina, it's also intended good for anal use. The list includes Benoit balls, massive dildos, and a wee vibe chorus a toy that's made to kinda clip into onto the vagina by having one side against the vulva and one that goes inside and presses against the vaginal wall. Bonus round. An older woman came in once who was appalled at everything in the store, went to the dildos and loudly asked what are these even for? Mom, come on, come on, mom, mom, come on. In the shop I work at I get a lot of women who are curious about Kegel Benoit balls but wonder what happens if they get lost in their vagina. I always gently explain that well that's not possible, or at least highly unlikely. There's always questions about anatomy, but we just do our best to inform people. I had a dude ask me if a certain toy was for vaginal use or for the uterus because he thought it was two different holes. Close enough, my friend works as a pharmacist and says a guy came in once looking to purchase Plan B the morning after pill. He then asked her to explain when he should ingest it because he planned to have unprotected sex that night. Client was a middle-aged, married man. Kept hassling for no condom and I kept refusing. He asked why I wouldn't do it because surely I'm on a tablet to stop myself getting pregnant. I explained that condoms were important in protecting against STDs. He literally did now know what an STD was. I spent a while explaining to him and he started to worry that his wife would find out he was seeing sex workers because he hadn't been using condoms. He said so if I catch something, my wife could get it too. That's actually pretty scary. I'd hate to be his wife. I worked at a sex shop for like three years and the thing that irked me the most were people who were willfully ignorant about lube. Even after I'd explain why it's good for you they'd be like nah that's for old ladies. For either anal or vaginal sex it's there to reduce friction and make it more comfortable, safe. Many men and women have this misconception that if a woman cannot produce enough moisture on her own then there's something seriously wrong with her. It's actually very common for women of all ages to use lubricant from time to time, either because they're nervous, inexperienced, having very rough sex, or because their bodies simply don't produce that much. It would hurt me to think of all the women especially inexperienced ones getting their canals just f shredded because men or other women are shaming them for needing lube. Working there taught me that a surprising amount of people are very stupid selfish lovers. Be careful out there folks. I work in a lingerie sex shop and wow, I didn't realize how many people lack a basic understanding of things in general. First thing that springs to mind is a woman who kept breaking a couple's toy shaped like a U so women can wear it internally during intercourse and it'll also sit on the clitoris by using it like a crab claw to pinch her clitoris. She must have returned three of these by the time we figured out what the hell she was doing. I also once had a gentleman tell me we were scamming people by making them think the G-spot was a real thing. I assured him that as a woman it was very much real but he wouldn't budge and just stood there with his unhappy looking wife telling me doctors had proved it was a myth. Another weird thing is the amount of people that want to buy a bullet vibrator to stick in their asshole do not do this instead of a butt plug. People who want to use Dettol spray or a dishwasher to wash their sex toys instead of buying a cleaning spray and men that show up to buy a bra and then look shocked when they realize they need to know their other half's bra size. When I worked in a sex shop lots of guys would come in looking for a gift for their female SO. I would often ask them if they were looking for a toy with clitoral or G-spot stimulation. The number of guys who looked at me blankly and went what is clitoral, I just want something to put in her or a version of that statement never failed to surprise me. I once spent 20 minutes desperately trying to get a guy to buy enough lube after he told me that his girlfriend insisted that he get some, because his initial attempt was him spitting on his dick and shoving it in her ass. I'm a salesperson, but I'm just being kind when I tell people to buy more than they think they need. He blew off my advice and bought a $1 foil packet of lube. My butthole clenched so damn hard just then who the f thinks a bit of spit will be fine for a hole that doesn't self-lubricate or stretch easily. It was phone sex. But the guy f 
Dot, dot. I spent three hours describing to him how a girl would pee in the woods. Whether he knew or not is beside the point. Three hours describing it while trying to be horny at the same time. Dudes are wild sometimes. Squatting. Not that difficult of a concept. Yeah baby. Tell me again how aggressively you angled the knees on descent. Oh yeah. Okay okay. Now do you have to pee? Good. Good. Now make sure you're facing north and looking at the cabin. Okay okay. Are you squatting and you have to pee? Okay okay. Now what angle are your knees at? More one guy who didn't understand that bestiality was illegal and, therefore, we didn't have any porn featuring donkeys. Otherwise many male customers who didn't understand the difference between sex worker and sex shop worker. My friend is a sex worker. She asked me if it was normal to have itching and like green discharge down there. She actually didn't know STDs, STIs existed but had like heard of AIDS former sex shop worker here. I'll tell a story that kind of fits this. At our store we sold an array of dildos. Some gag gifts. All shapes and sizes and colors etc. The largest one by far was called the Great American Challenge. It is a purple behemoth that I'm fairly certain is girthier than my arm. I'm a skinny guy. One day this guy comes in asking for a big gag dildo for his friend. I show him the big cheap ones. They are about 20 bucks but large. Still smaller than Great American Challenge though. He says he wants something even bigger. I tell him there's nothing bigger that's in that price range. He then asks to see the bigger ones anyway, regardless of price. I show him the Great American Challenge, and tell him the price is 70 bucks. Dude gets wide-eyed and buys it right away. He says and I quote this will be great gag gift as a paperweight. Now we get the gag gift cover up quite often. Girls use it all the time to buy for bachelorette parties you aren't fooling anyone ladies. But this guy using it with our largest dildo was not surprising. I assumed, however, that he knew what he was doing. About an hour later I get a call from what is clearly the same guy. I know it's him because he says he just bought a purple dildo from us that is very large. And that's only the great American challenge. We sell them once every couple months at best. He asks me what's the best way to use it. Confused I ask if he has any prior experience with smaller toys. He says no, this is his first time. I advise him to not use the toy and start smaller. And say that's about all the advice I can give you. He then one-ups himself and asks if he needs lube or if petroleum jelly is good enough. Of course you need lube what the f man I reply. He says well I don't have any damn. Guess I'll just wing it. Thanks for the advice and he hangs up. I don't know whatever happened to that guy. But I'm assuming he ended up in the hospital with quite the story. I worked at a local sex shop last summer. Women always asked help from me because the only other person working was a guy. They wanted some sex toy but didn't know exactly what. I would usually ask something along the lines of what makes you come easier. Clitoral stimulation or something inserted in you. I was there only for two weeks and during those two weeks, at least seven women said oh, I've never had an orgasm so I don't know. Most of them were women under 25 but the oldest was around 35 to 40 and married. That poor woman. Not me, but I used to date a woman who worked at a sex shop. Every single day she would come home and rant about having had to desperately dissuade someone from doing something to their own asshole that would put them in the hospital. I dunno if this counts, but, I once had a gay man call and explain that after having anal sex, his butt started feeling weird, and said he thought he could feel worms moving around and legitimately wanted to know what to do doctor here. If he had a worm infestation it is strange to become symptomatic all of a sudden after anal sex. And he would have noticed something during bowel movements. It is far more probable that the sex irritated his hemorrhoid veins and what he was feeling was the pulse of blood going through congested and inflammated tissue. Not native speaker so I may have used some wrong terms. Not native speaker so I may have used some wrong terms. Nah. You nailed it bro. I had one gentleman come in looking specifically for a butt plug and ended up bringing a rather large one to the counter. For purchases like this, I used to check in. First time. 
in case I can change it out for a product that might be better. He proceeded to tell me that it was for his girlfriend. It was her first time. And he brought up the biggest blackest plug we had in rubber. Not even medical grade silicone which we carried. So at this point I give my crash course on butt stuff. You need lube. Go slow. If you need an idea of how careful you should be with her, you can practice on yourself. I mean between the two of you it'll probably feel better for you because you're the one with a prostate. That's real. I thought that was just something the guys in West Hollywood were telling me to get in my pants. I also had another elderly gentleman come in for an oddly specific vibrator. It wasn't one he knew existed but he came in describing something small and bullet shaped. So we go around and nothing I show him is small enough until our cheap one's about the size of my thumb to which he says. It's perfect. Then a moment of horror settled in for me and I politely inquired about how he intended to use this. He was going to stick it in his wife's butt. For anyone who doesn't know, your anal tract naturally pulls stuff up into you. That's why butt plugs have stoppers and I saved them from a very, very unfortunate hospital visit. I had a guy who wanted to meet up for full service, but said he didn't want me to be disappointed by how small his dick was. He said, don't worry though I'll bring a banana for us to use so you'll still be satisfied. Question mark question mark question mark question mark question mark. Keeping your potassium levels up is important. First one that comes to mind is having to explain to a gentleman that the reason his wife doesn't enjoy toys probably has something to do with the fact he was cleaning them with Clorox wipes beforehand, and numerous explanations that anal beads are not ripcords and your partner likely isn't a lawnmower. B-E-Y-B-L-A-D-E-S. 